Hi, I'm Florette, and I want to thank you for joining me on this video to have some fun with this mirror image stamp set. It's really great because you get three mirror image stamps, and the largest one is three and a half inches by three and a half inches, so you can put some pretty good sized stamps on here. There's also a small and a medium, so you can really have some fun. And what is a mirror image stamp? Well, what a mirror image stamp does is it lets you take any stamp that you have and create the reverse image so you can have say like these two little seahorses facing each other rather than just having one seahorse so it literally doubles your stamp collection now I'm going to show you some fun tips and techniques and a few different ways to use them so let's have fun so for this technique we're going to use our misty and we're going to stamp directly on to cardstock so I'm going to place the piece of cardstock right in the corner, and this is an A2 size card. I'm going to then take that piece of acetate that we used, place it in the corner, and then place the dog, the poodle, exactly where I want to have my reverse image. I'm going to, this was my foam insert, and I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to make sure that my stamps line up, and they do. Place my magnet down and ink up my stamp. And I'm going to ink it three times since we're using a misty with some pigment ink and I found VersaFine to be work best for me for this. So I'm just going to ink this up three times since we're using the misty just to make sure I get a lot of ink on it and I'm just going to make sure to do it very gently. Don't push down too hard and do the same when you pull this over. Just gently kiss the two together but not pushing very hard and you can see you've already got an image. Once I have it inked up, I can remove my acetate and my cardstock, place my foam back in, place my card in the corner because it's going to be perfectly lined up, and then press gently down with your reverse image stamp. Then the nice part is going to pick up the paper, and I'm then going to gently rub my reverse image on here without moving the paper and it sticks really well so you don't have to worry too much about it moving and then peel it straight up and look you've got a perfectly reversed image isn't that great so now we're going to remove our reversed image stamp and you'll want to clean this right away so that your nice reverse image stamp stays nice and clean and ready for the next use. Now I'm going to take that stamp that I used earlier. I'm going to stamp it off on a piece of paper to get some of that excess ink off. So that when I place it down on my card, I won't get any smears. Okay, so I'm going to pick that up off my acetate and just place it where I want it facing my other poodle. I'm going to close it up like you normally do. And now's where you can use your magnet if you'd like. Put some ink on and stamp as you normally would. And I'm going to have a cute little two little dogs facing each other. Look at that, a perfect reverse image. And now with one stamp, I get two. That's what's really fun about the reverse image stamp. So then I can put a little heart between the two of them and you know, however else I'm gonna decorate this or I could fussy cut them out. So now we're gonna move on to our next technique. This next technique is really simple and easy and really a lot of fun. Cause we're gonna use our digi die cuts. Or you can also use um, your physical dies with your embossing machine. So I simply made a template with my cut and I'm going to use that to line this up. So I'm going to take out my foam pad. I'm going to place my acetate sheet down from my stamp set. Now I'm going to take my template and my stamp and I'm going to line it up from the underside like so. And then I'm going to place it in the corner here best I can so that it's all lined up. 
And then my stamp is now on the acetate and this is directly in the corner so I can always stamp again if I need to. I'm going to place my magnet down and we're going to gently ink it and then just kiss it gently to the other side and we're going to do that three times. Once I have it all inked up, and I've got a nice impression on this side, I can now remove my acetate sheet, place my foam back in, I'm going to place my template in here so I know exactly where to place my little die cut, place my die cut in there, and now we're going to put our mirror image stamp right on our die cut, and we're going to press gently, it's going to stick to our paper, and now we can smooth it out and just put a little pressure and run our finger around so that we get all the ink on our little die cut. I'm going to remove my template and I can push it down a little more if I like and then gently lift this up and look at that we've got a perfect die cut using and it's the reverse image of our stamp so we can make a really cute card now with the reverse image. Alright let's move on to our next technique. We've got two good old fashioned acrylic stamp blocks. I've taken my medium sized oval mirror image stamp and placed it on one of the blocks. Then I've gone ahead and stamped, placed my little seahorse stamp, which is right here, onto the other block. I'm gonna ink it up, just gently tapping it on my stamp so it gets all inked up. Then I'm going to simply line the two up and kiss the two stamps together. Going straight down, light pressure, pull it straight up. I've got a perfectly reversed image and you can see the two here. We've got the reverse image. I can take that now and place it on my cardstock wherever I want to place it and just give it nice pressure all the way around so that you know you're getting your ink on your card. Now I'm going to pull that straight up and look at that perfect image. Then I can take my stamp and have it facing the other little seahorse. How cute is that? Isn't that perfect? Now if you wanted to turn them silver or something like that, we'll take it one step further since we used a pigment ink. We can then take some embossing powder, place it over them. We're going to tap it off. Place our powder back in our container. and heat that up. And there you have it, the reverse image of our seahorse. And it was super easy and so fun to do. You can literally double all of your stamps using our new mirror image stamp set. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.